Okay, here with Henrik, go ahead, basketball coach Vance Harmon at the Henrik Holiday Hoops Tournament. The Warriors win 67 48 over JR Tucker to move to 7 and 2 overall. Coach, uh, not the best of starts for you guys, but I thought uh, defensively you did some good things. One, DeMarco Suggs inside the real ball well and had some good rebounding. And then your guards with uh, Jojo Morris, Chris Morris, and Tamon Jones, they turned some turnovers in the left. Yeah, it was. And we talked about defense. And defense, the measure of a good defensive effort we talked about is single digit quarters. We held them to one single digit quarter with nine in the third quarter. And we talked about if we can hold a team to under 24 and a half, which we did in the first half. Mm -hmm. So it's tough. We we ratcheted up a little bit on defense, but then we got a little bit sloppy in offense. And a lot of that was uh, give cre tougher credit for playing good defense. And also we were probably uh, sloppy coming off the break, the holiday break a bit, but we obviously got to turn that up. Sure, Robbie Buran for them finishes up with 19 points, 12 rebounds, six blocks, had a very good game. He's probably an underrated junior in the Richmond area, but outside of him, you didn't let anybody else go off. Yeah, he's a good player. He's long, got some length, got some nice skill on the basket. And um, again, he had 19 points and 12 rebounds, so by no uh, no means is that acceptable on our end. And we got to get that cleaned up. So again, I was happy with the play of Marco Suggs in there for us tonight. Uh, 8.7 rebounds, good solid night. Of course, our guards are, are, uh, are strong. Well, we know with, with you guys over the years, going back to the days when you had Jordan Talley and Tim Jones, and now you got Tim's younger brother and Tamar, and then even more recently with the likes of Ryan Pierce and Walt Williams and DeMonte Buckingham, who just graduated as one of the best in the Richmond area, now at the University of Richmond, that you guys like to run. Right. Now with the big giant Suggs, you guys still want to run. How do you guys, I guess, adjust that? Because he is a presence for you, but you still want to get him up. Before. Sure, yeah, we have to be a bit more selective. Um, we want to push all the time, but sometimes it might not be a clear cut just out and out attack on the basket. And sometimes it might be where he's in the secondary situation, where he's trailing the play, and we're trying to figure that out. Our rotation, uh, we're, we're more or less about an eight-man rotation right now, which is a little bit less than we've typically played over the years. So again, we're trying to figure that out, and that's, that's the coaching staff's job to, to get that rotation kind of ironed out. Sure, a couple more for you. You guys go 0 for 10 from 3. Is that an aberration? Is it a matter of they did some things defensively? I think they came out in the 3-2 zone. Yeah. You guys, was it just a mixture Things, what are you talking about? Uh, it was a, I think it was a mixture. They, again, they played good defense, but we haven't gone over 10 on the three point line in a very long time. And I certainly hope it's not the norm uh, because it hasn't been this far. We've got a 33 34 percent shooting team on the year. But again, when you have a holiday time and you have a lot of things going on, uh, we were, we were, which was bad tonight. More. You guys are seven and two. You lost two games you could have won that were close to Verona and Bills Godwin, two formidable teams in five A in the top ten in the state. Um, but to lose five starters, I think it was from last year's team, and be seven and two, you have to like that. How do you measure where you guys are going into a matchup with Matoka? And you could very well see either a Trinity or a South Lakes later on in this tournament. Yeah, I mean we're we're literally right now we're very much game to game scenario, and um, we just got to try to make improvements on. Certainly 7-2 on the surface is not a bad record on the surface, but uh, we've had a couple games that we could have won had we done a few things tweaked here and there, but we didn't, and it gives us something to work on. You guys have kind of changed your role from being the favorite or one of the favorites to an underdog in a sense, which could be a good thing in a way, right? Well, even though people who, who generally understand things would put, definitely put us in an underdog role, no matter when Henrico takes the floor, for better or for worse, when we still have Henrico across the jersey, everybody is so associates our high-end teams with this team. And this team, we've, we've got to prove ourselves. Right now, we're not them, they're not us. We've got to figure ourselves out. Thanks so much, Carson. Thank you very much.